Hi everyone, this is Dheeraj Kumar and today I am going to show you how to provide permissions to various tasks in plant applications using security application. Tasks such as creating work order, execute work order and so on are secured and hence require permissions. You must enable these permissions from the security application. Security application enables you to provide permissions to group of users to access various plant application modules. It also enables you to provide access to perform various tasks within the applications. You can also provide access privileges to the users at department level, line level and unit level. You must create an assignment to enable users to perform various tasks in plant applications. Following are the steps to create an assignment. Create a role, create a group, create an assignment which involves adding a role, a group and a resource to an assignment. I will show you how to create an assignment. From the plant apps web application, select security application. You have roles, groups, resources to create an assignment. So we'll start with the roles. Select the roles tab and then select the add icon. Enter name and description for the role. Access the required role category and then select the required permissions in that category. For example, if you want to allow a group of users to create a work order, you must toggle create a work order button in work order management. Select create. The role is successfully created. For more information on managing roles, refer to the detailed video link added in the description below. Create a group. You can create a group for the users who perform the same task on the same resource. Here, I want a group to have access to create work orders. Select groups tab and then select the add icon. Enter name and description for the group and select add. Group is created. Add the required members to the group. Select edit group. Select the required member and select add icon. You can see the selected user is added as a member to the group. Note that a group can include users as well as subgroups. Resources. The available resources are listed here as per the hierarchy, such as plant and then departments followed by lines and then units. I will now create an assignment with the name operator assignment, then select roles tab and add the role that I created. And from groups tab, I will add the group that I created. Now I will add the required resource. Here I am adding this resource perf line one, which is a line level resource. I will also add the resource perf line two, and which is again it's a line level resource. Note that every task has the lowest level of resource that must be added to the assignment. You can check this from help for security application. This table includes the tasks that require permissions and also the lowest level of resource that you need to add to an assignment to perform the tasks. From this table, the minimum level of resource to create a work order is at line level. If you assign a resource which is lower than line, that is, if you add a unit level resource, then the assignment created will fail because work orders are created on lines and not on units. You can assign a higher level of resource such as department level, but should not assign the resource that is at lower level than the lowest level required. Similarly, you can check the lowest level of resource that could be added to an assignment for each task. I have added required role, group and resource. Select create. Assignment is successfully created. Select the assignment tab to check the assignment created. Now I will log in as a user to whom I have given permissions to create work orders. The work orders can be created using the work order manager application. Select add icon to create work order. Since this user has access to create work order, the user is able to create a work order. Fill the required details and select create. Work order is successfully created. Note that you can only create a work order on a route that is released. Also, if the user does not have the required permissions in security application, then the message will be displayed as you do not have permission to create a work order. Once the work order is successfully created, it will be added to unit operations and work queue. 
Select the work queue application and enter the work order name that you have just created. You will find it in the work order list items. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, visit our website ge.com/digital.